Good day everyone, this is Armadani. Welcome back to my first subsistence series and now we are on a t t okay, put the teeth in. Now we are on episode eighteen, I think. Are we on eighteen? Oh, do you know what? We might be on nineteen. Okay. Hopefully in the edit this will become clear, but at the moment, here I am. I'm sitting by the fire. You may have noticed the weather's a little bit different uh, from the end of the last episode. It's because I did do a day off camera trying to sort those stairs out. I'm not sure I'm happy with the result, so we may just gloss over that. But um, it has been raining and cold ever since, so I'm just sitting by the fire to warm up. I'll have a little look at the map just to see where the rogues have gone. Right, they've moved. Oh, they're up here now the back of the forest there and I believe I saw yes they're down by the uh pond by the waterfall where Ogo is so we will we won't run out that far. well if we look for lock crate we might go that far or we'll go out this way but we will see what the weather does first of all um right there's some more out over that way um mm -mm -mm. yeah we'll I don't think we'll be going out that far. Uh, so, let's... Enough of this lallygagging and sitting around. Let's get up and get on with the day. We have, I think... Yes, a lockpick. Oh, and we just picked some cotton as well. I saw that that was... So that's all there, ready. We're making some more padded cloth. Uh, so that is that. I've got a water on me, so I'm hoping to get hold of a berry at some point as well. We need some more... Oh, let's just pick these medicinal herbs now, because we can. They're just a bit of a, a filler, really. And they have extra biofuel. Do I put some more veg in? I want to leave plenty of space for... Plenty of space for... Oh, no, we don't want all the tomatoes. Let's try it again. I don't... Let's try just a couple. I want to leave plenty of space for cotton seeds which we might grab hold of. Where? Oh well, good job that was... <laughs> Hello! Good job that was only four. Um, so, without drawing too much attention to it, because I said I'm really not that happy with what I'm doing at the moment, I think the plant beds may actually come round here. Uh, it's hard to judge with the weather as it is but at the moment they're saying oh yeah zero percent light here so let's just wait and see and we'll see whether we move them or not if we move them i will need to put a railing around here well probably you see railings are pretty but actually from a point of view of defensibility i think that these will be half walls all the way around here so then i can actually defend from and then we have a switchback stairs basically i've done them in other builds before I did them in one alongside a rock and it was really quite useful. Um, a pain in the what's it to get down in a hurry. But they do the job. Oh, this is not... We need this to lighten up a little bit. Let's have a look and see. I ran down the end of here last night to wash my hair, to uh, fill up my water um, and ran into a bear, which I then had to take out. At least it gave me a snack for overnight. And then I had to come back down and wash my hands, of course. But this now takes us here. So that's 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 all right. So for quick and easy access, well, it's not quick running up those stairs, but for an, a reasonable access to the base, that just gives another access point from the front. Um, oh, I may remove the stairs at the back eventually. But I think really what I'm what I see in my mind is this whole rock effectively being encased. So I will have walls going all the way down um, and that will look like it's built up out of the rock. And then that that will all make a little bit more sense. So it's very hard because I'd quite like to get that done now because it does offend me. <laughs> Picking up at that does offend me quite considerably it's it's really really quite ugly um but if i spend too much time on that i'm not going to get anything else done talking so what are we actually trying to do today oh i didn't unload some of that um ammo that i got in the 
I got a lock crate yesterday with which you saw, saw me unload or well, that was the one on camera rather but um I obviously didn't put the ammo away I do need a lot more wood whether I'm going to carry on building or whether we are going to just simply replenish our stocks either way we need to do something I suppose I could go down and have a look at Alpha we did talk about that well I talked about that I talked to myself and I made you listen about the idea about going down and seeing Alpha and seeing whether there was anything oh that mind you that means going in and I don't have another lock pick hmm I would have to make another pick to do that to get through the door oh I don't know let's have a little wander around here with some zinc Oh, he's coming along quite nicely. He's got his little balcony out. I'm listening out. The sound of a cocking gun. No, right, he's round the back. That's okay. So, let's have a little run along this side then. Yeah, you see, I might have to go and make a pick and come back. Yeah. It's been a couple of days, so it should... Oh, I used to be indecisive, but I'm not sure. Oh, theory me, I wasn't paying attention every time it makes me jump. Okay, yeah, we're going to go and make another pick. It means I need to make another couple of boards. Uh, how many is it? Don't just stand here in the open, Annie. There we go, sorry. Right, come on, focus, Annie. Pay attention. Oh, there's a box. Did that spawn it? Oh, no, I came around the back. Okay, it wasn't me miss. Oh, a splint. Why does the game think I might need a spin? I nearly did that um, through the night though when I was trying to move those stairs. Very nearly did the old uh, delete the one you're standing on thing. Let's try that again. iron keep things ticking over right let's go and grab some scrap make another pick right how many scrap is it four and two cordage Right, let's just put you away whilst we're here. Uh, lots of or oh no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't shift click. Come on, come, 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 come. Right. Do we think we will only need? Oh, it's too full. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's just make four. If I've got the fixings on me, then we can't get stuck again. And I will have to make another pick anyway, so um yeah. That that's that's fine. Oh well, there you go, blueberry water. There we go. Right, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Nearly did need the um splint. Make two ways in and out of the base and then try to jump out a third way. Well, I'm not going to get you because I think you're potassium and oh, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I think. Now, was there only one guy when we did this the other day? I've got a feeling. I don't think there was one. I can't remember if there was one inside or not. I would have thought there will definitely be two now. Oh, 
Where's that wall? Pay attention. Uh oh. you and yeah okay we're all right with that for the moment I might just eat one of you is it just him outside there's the claymore over there which we will leave that's there Another bit of scrap. It's a very odd shaped building when you look at it from this angle. Like he's only done half of it at, at a time. So I just want to turn that off so I can hear. Was that claim one? Now that's the box over there, isn't it? But where was the claim more? Mm-hmm. Okay, well let's uh let's bash this down. And I will see you when we are nearly through. Whoa! Somebody shooting at me. Whoa. Dude's come back from fishing. In answer to the question, was there another one? The answer was yes. Well, do you know what? That is all my worst nightmares come true. Every time I am standing at the door of a base, smacking it down, I always spend lots of time stopping, looking around behind me, listening out for footsteps, etc because I'm convinced that somebody's going to come up behind me and shoot me. It's never happened before today, but in every single base raid that I've ever done, you see, that wasn't me paying attention again, and that's the first time it's actually happened. Wow. So, there you go. This does happen. Well, there is no way that that dude should have survived to um, face on shots. I'll have to watch that back and see whether I uh, goofed on that one, but I wouldn't. I didn't think I did. Uh, oh, grenades! That's nice, and some ingots. That's very, very nice. Um, do you know what? Simply because you've been a little while, let's put you on there a minute. You, sir. Should have died a little bit quicker. Huh. Right, so that was a box over there and not a claymore. But I thought last time we came I saw a claymore, so maybe I was mistaken. But it answers the question that that was just sheer random misfortune. Um, there's a strawberry. But when I came in here the other day both this box and the Bravo box was empty because, yeah, they have stuff in here now. So, yeah. Okay. So, I think we can uh, get a little bit of a screenshot there with the uh, dude in the background. Let's eat that. Extinguish you. Now, of course, these guys don't have a workbench or anything that makes raiding them particularly of any use. But, still. That was worth a couple of picks to get to the grenades. Because they're quite expensive to make. So, I'm happy to have grenades 
ready for uh, raids in the future. That's really good. And the ingots, we need those for several of the things that we want to build. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Now the question is, do I just focus on building back up some wood stores quickly? Rather than carry on a concerted look for a locked crate. Because obviously the rogues are down the other end. So I should be able to run around here without any problem, she says. Yes, that's my little fishing hut. I'm panicking, thinking, what's that building? That's yours, Annie. That's all right. You don't have to worry about that. Where's uh? What's the oh yeah, see, there's the fortress coming along over there. Again, nobody had any opinions or to my question as to whether where I should put an FOB, whether I should put it at the end of the peninsula and effectively go along the tip or swim across each time. Or or what? Because it's... Uh, yeah, it's just far enough away. Well, it's not so much because it's far away, but because of where Bravo are, to do a raid, a proper raid on the fortress, I would not want to risk... It's, it's not like some type of, quite often with a fortress if you want to use their mass and power and things like that um, you want to take stuff you know back to an FOB or run back to the base and pick things up etc I, I wouldn't want to be doing that running backwards and forwards past Bravo because every time I passed them it was an opportunity for something to go wrong so I think I would like to have an FOB down there where are you, rabbit? I saw you hiding. It's always helpful when they sit up for me. Whoops. That made me jump. Okay, so I guess that's the answer, actually, is that I don't want to go and look for lock crate now. I definitely only want to get some wood and head back. I didn't realise I picked up that much. I must have had a bit on me already. So let's go back then. You're safe, chicken, because I haven't got space for you. Yeah, you. Go on, go on, go on. Better not run that way in case I do find there was a claymore over there. Just the sort of thing that I would do. Oh, I do feel happier knowing that they had uh, stuff in their box and that I'm not going to have to turn um, hunters off and on again because they're not in a bad position. Alpha I can easily get around um, and basically ignore other than when I want a little bit of shooting practice. So that's fine. And yeah, Bravo and Charlie being so close to one another is actually not a bad thing. I've got iron, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, there's a crate. Another crate on the horizon. What have we got in here? Uh, oh, I can't do... Cordage. There you go. Uh, let's take that. And you. And you. And get this crate. Yes, and there's another crate. On the oh, I've got another. Oh. oh, I missed him after all that. Oh, can you stop by the crate? 
Oh, that would have been really helpful. Oh, well, you're not that far away. Oh, there's a bear there. So we'll keep clear of the bear. Right, let's get this lot back. Not too bad. The loot. Oops, jump. Oh, and zinc. Uh, we got zinc. Yes, we got zinc. Okay, we can do you then. That is the other advantage of building on a rock. If you can leave it so you can still get to the actual rock, is that you do get the, sp the spawns of the... Um, uh, oh, that was the word I was looking for. Right, put some things away first so we've got some room to butcher. Oh, that's a nice... Getting back some of our nails that we've been doing. Um, let's leave you all right for the moment. Um, what else are we going to do? Oh, we've got some fish oil. Nice. Let's move you along there. Uh, uh, uh. Cordage. Oh, some more weapons parts. Now... We were going to make our recycler, weren't we? Oh, I've used the power. What did we use the power for? Oh, that probably would have been the lockpick, I guess. I'll put a bit more biofuel in and we'll get you going. Let's get our food off. Um, you can go down there as well. Oh, my pick. Um... Yes, that's why I need the recycler, because I'm <laughs> definitely running out of uh, space for all my things to be recycled. And some ingots. Um, now, I thought... Well, that's bizarre. I got a... Per oh, there's the pearl. I was going to say, I knew I picked a pearl up. I obviously put it in the wrong place. I got one when I on my off-camera day. Right, so, zinc iron we've got another 18 in there oh look at that so we're doing quite good on copper so let's just put a little bit more on and then we'll put some more zinc on plenty of ash which these don't need really because they're not oh, okay doing much but we'll put you away for the garden okay so, that's not too bad. Where are we in the day? Yeah, I'm going to need to have some water, I would have thought. So, let's take you. Was that a bear in the water? Yes, it was. Let's go down our little ziggy zaggy. Yeah, again, I need um, to put half walls at the end of here. So that if I'm running up them being uh, shot at, I've got something to secure me on. The railings at the side are largely there to stop me from falling off. Okay, they're totally just there to stop me falling off. No other reason whatsoever. Hello, Mr. Bear. Did I do this? Yeah, I did this on the way out, but that's respawned, so that's fine. Or I don't know what the word is. Reset. We can go back and uh, chop the trees again. So if you time it right and you're early enough and late enough, you can get three in one day, in one cycle. So I'm still low on pearls, so I still need to do a run out to one of the lakes um, or run across and do all the ponds, you know, go down to the the valley and you know go across do by the peninsulas do stiffler do the pond in the valley or the lake in the valley no pond i always get my north and south ponds muddled up i d partly because of my sense of direction uh, no ha proving the point but also cuz i can never stop and think does that count as north or south or I never remember what part of the map I'm in, basically. It's a little bit of a sad case. So. Let's get that water on. 
and we're going to have to go up to say hello to the kitty either the one up there or the one over there I know where the one up here I know where it spawns and what to look for but again it's just a question of oh dear hang on just a question of getting to the fire before it goes out there you go um yes The other one's nearer. And I need to learn where the one near us in the new area is better. Because then going out for a cougar run to do that one and then go up over the hill to that one or start there and then run around and do this one would actually be quite a good a good routine. If I get more confidence in it, then that's in my pr a previous profile. I would do that. I would go out and I would every day. It was the first thing I did every day was to go and kill the cougar. So, you know, I really need to get back to that. Recycler is going to need six boards, so let's do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And eight and nine, yes, that's not a problem. We've got plenty of that. It's just the boards I need to remember to do. Grubs need to go down to the fishing hut at some point. Put the waters away. Here we go. Um, oh yeah, unload some of that arrow ammo. We do not need to be carrying around 40 with us. Uh, two loads, two reloads of the magnum. Two. Oh, so we're down on shotgun shells. Up on rifle rounds. Well, that's all right. If we're going to go after the cougars, that's not a problem. Uh, what was it I saw needed repairing? Oh yeah, that's it. I probably need to do that, which means I need to make some more boards. But I want to keep that up to speed. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I say six? Yes, I no, yes I did. Sometimes it's hard to read on the screen the difference between six and eight. Okay, so at least we established something today. We established that, that wasn't a glitch, or rather it was a just a unfortunate with the boxes. And we are able to confirm that there, there's some loot in them there under bases. We've seen a little bit more progress over there with Charlie. As I say, let me know, where, where do I put the FOB? I definitely think I'm going to need one over there. Um, it's just a question of whether I put it... You know, um, if they're here, the fortress is here, then it's whether, but, and I've got Bravo here, when I come down to take and I run across that way, I suppose I've always got the fishing hut, but I don't know, it just feels like I should have something and it's whether I have it here from this end to come across. I suppose it will depend on the line of sight really, won't it? So I'll probably need to go and scope that out a little bit. Yeah, and we need to go and get rid of this lockpick. So, well, I think I will end it here actually because there's not a lot else for me to be getting on with housekeeping wise. Oh, look at that lovely little sunset there in the background. That's quite a nice shot. And from this angle, I can't see the, all the ugliness of what's underneath the base. And yeah, what shall I do? Shall I carry on building up the base and focus a little bit, a couple of episodes on getting this up and running with little forays out? Or do I need to really concentrate on getting out and getting the loot and maybe some cougars just to progress on with the things I need? But I definitely uh, know I need to get pearls, so there's going to be a, a lake swim coming up at some point. So... Well, thanks for hanging with me and uh, watching again. I hope you find something in these videos to, that entertain and engage you. And I will see you back on the next episode. Bye-bye now.